Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, your programming friend from YouTube. So let's move forward into our MongoDB series. In this particular video, I want all of your attention here because this is going to be the entire meat part of whatever we are going to do in the MongoDB. I will introduce you with most of the commands that you'll be working with the MongoDB, whether that's any kind of operation. But what are the people who usually interact with the MongoDB? We all know that these are applications, whether that's a mobile application or web application, it doesn't really matter whether it's built in PHP, Java or JavaScript, they all interact with that. But if we broadly categorize these three kinds of people, we just come up with simple idea that MongoDB is usually handled by three A's of the MongoDB world. Now these three A are the only person which interact with them. The first one is pretty common, the application, and in this application umbrella, I would like to consider all the mobile application as well as all the uh, web application and maybe even the desktop application. So these are the pretty common one. Most of us learn the MongoDB just for this first A. The another A is for analytics. A lot of people believe that uh, things like machine learning, data analytics, and data scientists, they all and all the time work with Python and R. They try to collect data, run some analytics on that, or maybe some regression techniques, and that's pretty much it. Now that's totally a myth, and in the MongoDB world, this MongoDB itself is used quite a lot in the world of data science. Even not just the MongoDB, even the databases like SQL database, MySQL, are pretty much there as well. In fact, if you will uh, hear some of the podcast or any, if you'll talk at a conference with these big giants working at Facebook and Google, they will tell that most of our work is done using these databases query and we call ourselves as database analytics. Most of people are not aware of it. That's why I thought let's give it a brief intro about that as well. So that's all I'm going to talk about the analytics here. So we, using these read queries on MongoDB, you can filter out, pull up some data and can decide and do some kind of A-B testing, whether these people are going to buy your product, not buy, going to like the product and stuff like that. Now the third one is pretty important, which is admin. Now admin is completely different from your application. Admin really doesn't care about in which framework your application is built up. All he care about managing the data itself and providing some restrictions on data. And usually he interacts directly with the shell. He doesn't really interact uh, with these application itself. So these are the three guys who are the three A's of MongoDB world. So make sure you're aware of them. Now let's move on to the meat part of this entire MongoDB. So as I mentioned in the previous slides, you remember that we are totally focused about the CRUD operation, create, read, update, and delete. So we're gonna talk about them. MongoDB is very small. There are not gigantic and numerous things you can do with that. There are just four applications and four uh, uses that you can have. So these are create, read, update, and delete. Let's focus on the first one, which is create. Obviously, we have seen a little bit teeny tiny through the shell as well. Surely, we're going to see more in the future as well. But the create operations are pretty simple and pretty straightforward. The first one is insert one, which is used to just enter one specific data in our MongoDB. Now, surely, we have in the parentheses a couple of things. The first one is data and second one is options. Now, you can provide multiple options that we are going to learn more about them in the Mocha. And there is another one which is insert many. Maybe you want to add a collection of data. Maybe you want to register five students at a time in your database. Surely can be done using insert many. Then comes up the read part. And this read part is pretty heavily for the analytic guys as well. So we have got two operation, two major operation. Surely this word here which says filter, don't ignore that. This is the entire thing which makes the read operation absolutely insanely powerful in the MongoDB. So we have got just two here, find and find one. Now, don't be mistaken here with the find one. Find one doesn't return only one. Find one returns the first thing which matches the criteria or matches the filter. So it's not going to be like it's going to return only one. It's going to return the first one. There may be other things in the database which matches the criteria or filter, but still it's going to return just the first one it founds out while looking up into the database. So again, find and find one. And again, a big emphasis on this filter because this is where all of the work is meat part is done. Just similar analytics onto the, uh, the MySQL world where you see all the clauses like where clause. 
This is exactly uh, all the things are done in the read operation using the filters here. So these are the two major one, create read. Another two major ones are update and delete. In the update, it's pretty much easy. Update one, update many, and replace one, which almost behaves like update one, but uh, it's a little bit subtlety is there. And definitely it's available in the docs. That's why I have mentioned that. Again, whenever you see the filter here, that means things can go absolutely crazy there and it can be in insanely powerful. So we have got few operations, update one, uh, filter, filter and filter are there in all of them. Update one, update many and replace one. Update one is going to update uh, the one which matches the criteria. Again, the first one which matches the criteria. Update many can update uh, all of the things which matches the criteria and replace one is going to replace the entire data set, of course, matched with the filter. So these are the basic ones. Now comes up the delete part. In the delete one, again, uh, make sure you're absolutely sure in the delete world because uh, there is no fallback here. There is not gonna be no warning here. So make sure you put all your false safe checks there when you are making the delete operation. So looks like I made a mistake. I just fixed that up. I forgot that it was just written as delete. It's not delete, it's delete one and delete many. I just fixed that, sorry about that. So again, delete one and delete many are the two operations which are used for deleting. Again, the filter is here. In case you are coming from the world of MySQL world or any other database, whatever we used to do with the where clause there, it's exactly can be done using the filter. In fact, filters are very much powerful in MongoDB and we will have a separate section discussing more about the filters in the MongoDB. So these are the all ones and make sure you keep a note of them somewhere uh, so that we can refer them later on as well when we'll be doing the practicals of that. These are the only ones which we'll be talking about. But again, filters are powerful. So just a quick note here, uh, triple A's, make sure you don't forget them, the triple A's of MongoDB, application analytics and admin. And then we have got four operation, create, read, update and delete. Create got two options, insert one, insert many, read got two options, find and find one. Remember, find finds all of them, find once finds the first one which matches the criteria. Update which is gonna have three options, update one, update many and replace one. Replace one is almost exactly similar as update one. And then we have got two operations for delete, delete one and delete many. Again, remember the filters are powerful one. So that's it, that's all for this video, keeping it very short. And in the next video, we're gonna see the practicals of how these all can be performed in the MongoDB shell. So that's it for this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel and let's catch up in the next video.